All right, the tough to start Yamaha Phaser. Some of the early models, like this one's the 2007, um, had a little trouble, especially in cold weather, starting. Problem from the research I did looks like it comes from the uh, program in the ECU, so that's the brain box of the engine that controls your ignition and your fuel. And uh, the ECU in the early models had a requirement for possibly a cranking RPM minimum and also uh, an oil pressure signal. So as you crank the engine, it looks for both of those before it'll add fuel and uh, start the engine off. So if the engine isn't spinning fast enough or it isn't getting an oil pressure signal, it won't add fuel. And that's why it will crank and crank and crank and crank. We'll give this one here a try. Today it's about 50 degrees out, 45 maybe. The battery's kind of weak. I don't know how good the starter is in this one, but it cranks pretty slow. Let's go check it out and see if it'll start up on its own. Keys on, fuel pump's running. We'll see the RPM right below the mile per hour gauge there when it crank. All right, 210 RPM, that's not very good. Some people need more around 300 for it to start. And that would mean that you'd be buying a brand new battery or an upgraded battery every time, you know, every year or two, basically, to get the thing to go. So I found a trick uh, that worked pretty good, and that is to uh, prime the engine with the fuel injectors. And um, basically, when you turn that key on, the fuel pump's going to pump up the fuel rail with pressure right up to the injectors. And those injectors are the ones that are just not opening up right now because the ECU isn't happy with with the situation here of a slow cranking engine it might not be getting uh, that oil pressure signal either you know sometimes on a cold day it takes a while to get that so we're going to trick it here a little bit we're going to go into diagnostic mode on the ECU or on the uh, uh, panel here and it's really easy to do you just hold down the select and uh, it's called a reset switch on the left side hold those down and turn the key on I'm going to need to reposition the camera here to do that, but you hold them down, turn the key on, and continue to hold. Okay, so I put the camera down as I turn the key on there, but I'm holding these down. It's going to take a, se a few seconds here, and you're going to see Diag. That's diagnostic mode. We're going to go ahead and press and hold those two again, and we're in diagnostic mode. The first mode here, mode one, is the throttle position. So as you can see, as I enter pour the throttle on here the numbers change so idle is at about 15 here wide open is at about 98 we're going to move on to um, mode 36 and 37 on this one when we get to 36 we're going to hit the hand warmer switch the bottom and you're going to see it cycle five times we're gonna do that twice each time we press this button we are priming fuel by clicking open that injector for that number one cylinder on number 36 here we're gonna move it up one more to 37 I'm gonna click that one two and we're pumping gas straight into that intake manifold right now this is the priming procedure. It's pretty easy. We could have tried cranking this engine again, and it's possible. I'm going to do it three times in this one. It's possible that with time, this engine would have slowly came to life and started, and it's also possible that battery might have died off. So, all right, the key's off. Key's on. We're going to crank it up. Fires right up, idles right away. So there you have it. That's a real quick, easy, free trick. Priming your engine when your battery's low and it doesn't want to start, and you know that if you're going to crank anymore, that you're probably going to kill your battery. It might be a warm day. It might be an ECU that has a better program in it than these early ones too, but if you need to get a little extra fuel in your engine, just hop into diagnostic mode there and give it a little gas. Try starting it up again. It works great.